Hey everyone, it's the bad guy here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I've been using Natalie in the R5 dungeon. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. Now here we have my Natalie. I've been, I ruined her for R5. The reason why I wanted to use Natalie in R5 is firstly because of the brand. Brand helps speed up the R5 runs, so like your runs will go faster if you have a brand on, on one of your teams in, in while raiding. The second reason is the first skill also provides armor breaks, so we'll, we're able to have armor break on the boss more consistently. So the R5 runs will go faster, as you can see, she's doing okay. Now she didn't have the best runes for R5, as in, they're still a work in progress, so she may die. There's a problem with her, I mean her HP is fine for an R5 backline attacker, but there's a problem with her, with her with her defense it's not high enough it needs to at least be above 300 maybe 350 if you can look at my Xiaolin she has 400 which is really good now I also don't use her usually in my in my main raid team usually it's Hua here but today just to show you guys uh, that she works and she can work because uh, we had the Hall of Heroes just the other day then I put her in also um, the team that I'm working towards is gonna have three damage dealers with uh, her with, which was supposed to have her there uh, as the third damage dealer, so her Hua, I'm gonna remove Chisun from the team, and then we'll only have like, we'll, then we'll remove Lisa. We put in Delphoi, uh, as well as we put in, uh, and Delphoi and Colleen will be the, will be the healers for the team, and Delphoi will cleanse as well because she does that, right? So as we can see, it's working well. She, this is the main team. Uh, as as long as there's attack down debuff, it won't wipe. The reason why I say she needs 300 defense is because. Is because uh, when the the boss's AOE attack, especially when there's no attack down debuff, it will really mess her up, and she'll be the first to die. And we don't really want her to die. So as you can see, it, things are going good. The next team I'm gonna show her in. Actually, we'll do one more round of this so that you guys can see that it actually works properly. So she's supposed to be a secondary damage dealer, basically. She helps amplify the damage that Xiaolian will do. So she goes first, puts on the brand. Hopefully there was, there was armor break put on earlier. And then uh, Xiaolian is able to output a lot of damage with her third skill. So we'll go again with this just to show you guys that it's a stable team and you can actually use her. Now this will work, actually uh, if it will work very well if you have her max skilled. Hopefully you guys farmed all five skill ups for for her and they all went into into the right skill and uh, the, which is either the brand or her last skill so it, uh, it comes off cooldown or, and does more damage right mine is not yet max skilled uh, I, st I, I think I, I'm not sure where I want to put the skill ups yet so that will have to wait until I decide but she does just well because I got her really early on in my summoners were like days so I gave her some skill ups she has some skill ups into into her this skill into her first skill and her and the second skill so it's not too bad and over here she could use some skill ups here and to and the cooldown reduction but it still works just fine she's just mainly there for the brand and that's the whole the whole reason i have her there let me show you her runes real quick let's this this is the first rune she's on yeah blade fatal blade so a lot of hp still room for grinding there still room for grinding here and same with here she can definitely do a lot better but i'm fine with these runes in fact yeah they're really good runes just i just need to get a bit more defense on her and she'll be perfect 100 percent crit rate decent not really decent really bad crit damage but we, we just need her for the brand right so shoot for these stats if you guys are going to use her there are other alternatives for brand but maybe you don't you don't want to build the homunculus or you don't have her sister which is Stella then you can use her in their place but she works quite well her stats are actually okay not the best HP but high defense you can work with that defense not as high as the islands but high enough you can actually get some decent defense off of that so yes works very good I hope you guys farmed the the HOH at least if not maybe if, you, if maybe you didn't like her then maybe you didn't like her you can use her for skill ups but if you did like her 
then you can use her in here or other places in the game. I actually did another video uh, talking about where she can also be used other than R5. This That wasn't R5, that was like different parts of the game because I didn't have her ruined to be able to survive R5. She was just a pure damage dealer, so we used her in Arena and some in Rift Beast and things like that. But now she's complete, completely ruined for for R5 and she was working very well. You can see what I mean by low defense. Like I know a lot of guys uh, underestimate the, amount, the, the need for having high defense on your attackers in raid. Like look at the difference between her and Xiao Lin. Xiao Lin is still healthy. She can still take hits, but she's like on the brink of dying. That's why like I'm not very comfortable using her with that with her stats the way they are at the moment. Next, I'm gonna switch up the teams. For this is gonna be the last run so I'm gonna switch up the team so I show you guys what I want to evolve into where I'm gonna remove Chisun and I'm gonna remove her and then I'm gonna put in my Delphoi and then I'm gonna put in my Hua one second where is she here we go my Hua and we go it works well if you're raiding with people with like a team who who have some other people who have good teams uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get to it works well with other like people who are also have really good teams because if you do this with in the public with guys who don't have very good teams or very well run teams then there's a really high chance of failing because maybe there won't be an attack down diva for something but it works very well I think this these guys should be able to to their teams are pretty solid so we should it should work hopefully she puts in the brand so like you, it, it's just basically three damage dealers which is Xiao Lin, uh, uh my brand my brander which is what's her face Natalie and Hua and Delphoi will cleanse and do a small heal and Xiao Lin I mean, and my what's called in Colleen will also do will also heal She'll be basically the main healer. Now, a problem with this team is you have to fix your, you have to make your Colleen really good, because I my or really fast at least. Because like when I was try first testing it out, it failed a lot because my my Colleen was not fast enough. She was like at plus sixty speed. I upped her speed just to try and make this team a little bit more successful, and it did help that shows you the importance of speed my ideal speed would be plus a hundred speed so she'll have like 200 and something speed at that point you should be able to just run as a solo healer then I can just put her on the front line and remove Delphoi and put in instead I put in my Lisa but for now this works just fine and it's like I said it works fine it's three three damage dealers so hopefully I'm doing a lot of damage hopefully but you know it also depends on raids so and these guys are like really good so yeah but it works fine you can see no we, we don't look like we're gonna die anytime soon Colleen just healed there like improving your raid team is a gradual process I can see like I just for, I used I first started with one damage dealer and a lot of supports and then I finally added my second one and then finally I'm planning on earning adding this third one I'm not sure whether or not I think I'm gonna use her sister instead because I do have her sister and I got skill ups I don't know we'll see I'll just keep testing it out and see who works better or maybe the wind homunculus but I don't want to farm it so that like I don't want to do that so I don't know we'll see but as you can see three damage dealers and she works quite well here this is a pretty decent raid team and it will carry you through like very fa fast runs like here we go done And I think we should be good. Well, it didn't really improve it that didn't, didn't, didn't really improve the time too much. But if the RNG is good, it will help push the the team to be able to go a bit faster. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I think maybe I need to put more damage on her, or something. Like I, I'll think of something. Like great, there's always something more that you can do in raids. Basically, maybe I up her her her, her attack stats. But I don't want to nerf. I don't want her to die. I want it to be stable. That's why she didn't have too much great damage. But other than that, like my team has been optimized. This is actually my my main raid team is this one over here, which I with Hua over there. But yeah, it works well, guys. So you can see that's how I use Natalie in raid. Maybe you farm the Natalie and you like her kit, and maybe you don't have anyone else that you can use as a third damage dealer, a second damage dealer. 
you can put her in there and she will do quite well for you so guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you got something from this video something that i didn't highlight in my other video and thanks for watching and i think i showed you guys the runes so i'm not gonna show them again okay let me just show them once more just in case i didn't show them but i think i did still room for improvement on the runes here all right those that has been the runes and that has been my video on natalie in r5 thanks a lot guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video thanks